It is 1.27 a.m. I know I didn't really vlog at all today, but it was just another day on the computer and I didn't do much reading. I read 118 pages and that is pretty much it. My brother and I started to watch Rush Hour, but he was too tired so we didn't finish. I did more editing and then I took a shower finally because I had to wash my hair. <laughs> Now it's 1.30 again. I'm not in bed at a decent hour and I have to work tomorrow. So I need to go to bed, get a decent amount of sleep, get up, do as much editing as I can, go to work, come back home, edit some more. I was looking at the spreadsheet when I put in my pages and I believe Team Hogwarts is in third place. So right in the middle, right where we wanna be. <laughs> We're gonna keep going right there and then when they least expect it, whew, I really need to start my Muse of Nightmares audiobook because then I would be getting some good reading done while I'm editing. But I am in such a cheetah girl's mood. I think it's because this month is not the easiest for me emotionally, which I won't go into details. It's just uh, not great. And I feel like I'm just craving that nostalgia and sort of comfort zone. Anyways, I'm gonna maybe read a few chapters and then go to bed and I will see you tomorrow. It is a little past 2.15 and I actually have to go to work right now, but I just wanted to check in. I didn't say it yesterday, so I'm going to say it now. Welcome to Booktube Games Winter 2019 Week 2. I haven't done a ton of reading today, but I have read a couple of chapters. I'm going to read some more in the car. When I get home, I do want to do some editing, but maybe I'll finally start my audiobook. It is 8.40 p.m. I just got home from work. I wasn't really feeling good. I got a bit of a migraine while I was working and I hate when that happens because the lights start to bother me and it's almost like you feel like you can't look up at people. I'm just gonna try and relax. I think I'm gonna take a bath and work on Checkmate because I was reading it on the way to work and it's moving into the last 100 pages, 150 pages. I can feel it like we're reaching that climax of the story and the the series that I've been reading since high school and I don't know if I can finish it tonight without staying up way too late but I don't know if I can go to bed without finishing it. It is 12:41. I wanted to check in because I did it. I finished Checkmates. My tally for the day is 201 pages. Some of those pages were read after midnight and I did finish the book then. So technically the book and pages should count towards day 10 but it's too complicated to try and designate pages for February 9th and pages for February 10th. So I'm just going to count all the pages and the book towards the 9th and call it a day. Gonna put those in my handy dandy journal. I don't know if you've seen it since I finished it last week. Maybe I did show you. Here's where we're at. Two, oh, one, and then one book. There you have it. Moving on to day 10. I definitely need to start my audiobook of Muse of Nightmares, but besides that, I don't know what physical book I want to start. Should I be wicked and pick one now and start it? I think I'm gonna rip off the band-aid and read the hazelwood even though it's mixed. I'm really curious. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I won't, but I just really want to find out. It is 9.48 p.m. I was on my computer most of the day. Not my best reading day. I'm not really sure how much more I'll read tonight. I'm just not really in the mood. I think that I'm gonna watch a movie, which is why I made popcorn. Even though I just watched this like a couple months ago, I saw that Haley from Sweet Sequels was watching this tonight and I'm always in the mood for Pride and Prejudice. For the sake of supporting Team Hogwarts, I think I'm gonna focus up and read a couple more chapters in this. I'm on chapter 7 so maybe at least make it to chapter 10. Okay so it's only a few minutes later but I just wanted to say that on page 60 the main character in the Hazelwood mentions Mr. Darcy. 
it's meant to be. <laughs> no glove. Wait for it. <gasps> Hand flex. But like, where's my Mr. Darcy? I just wanted to document this moment. I didn't want to do it, but I did. I turned off the movie so I could go to bed at a decent hour. It's 11.15 p.m. I'm just putting on my shoes to go to work. I had a very good night's rest. I did sleep in till like 10.40, but I think my body desperately needed that. I ate breakfast, read some more in the hazel wood, and now I'm gonna try to read some more on the way to work. I'm really liking it so far. I have to go to work, so bye. It is seven o'clock. I got home from work about 30 minutes ago. I have the bath filling up right now so I can take a hot bath. I had a migraine again today at work, which was really bothering me. I'm definitely making headway in the Hazelwood. I think I'm on 158. I could definitely reach the halfway point and maybe a little over tonight. I'm about to put in my pages read for the day. I made it to chapter 26, and the last page I read, if it'll focus, it's 276. I read 222 pages, which I just calculated using my phone. Must be a day behind. I don't think I put in yesterday's. Day 10, I read 54 pages. Then today, 222. That is it. For the night, I will see you tomorrow. It's 10.30. I really need to get out of bed, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spend another day on the computer, but I guess I have to. Okay, I'm up kind of awake. <laughs> and the purple sweatshirt is back. I forgot to mention this last night. I made it quite a ways past the halfway point. I actually only have a little less than 100 pages left. And that doesn't include, there's also like a bonus story in the back. You don't really get what that means unless you've read this. If you don't want spoilers, skip this. But there's kind of fairy tales within this book because the main character, Alice, her grandmother, Althea, wrote a book of dark fairy tales. So some of those are told within the book. And there's bonus content in this Target edition. It's actually interesting because I didn't realize there is a sequel coming out. I had no idea. I kind of thought this was a standalone, but there's a sequel, so that's kind of interesting. And then I think there's also a novella coming out. I'm going to see if I can finish this before I start work. It's less than 100 pages, so we'll see. But if it's taking too long, I'm going to have to jump on the computer and do some work. I have a set list of things that I just sort of rotate for breakfast. One of them being the Starbucks protein boxes. I love them so much. Today I'm having the fruit and cheese box. Yesterday I had egg and cheese. I'm drinking orange juice because I don't have coffee this morning. I wish I did, but I don't. It's probably for the best. It is now noon and I just finished the hazel wood. I actually really liked it and I'm interested to see what the sequel is about. So now I need to focus up and get some work done on the computer. I am determined to get stuff done today. I want to be done. <laughs> I think it's time. I need to start my Muse of Nightmares audiobook. I kept hearing noises while I was downstairs and I meant to check to see if the garage door was still open. I don't know why, I just had this weird feeling like it was. So, I'm gonna check. We're good. <laughs> Alright, back to work. 
since I've been talking about it so much in these vlogs, I thought I would share with you a peek at what it is I'm working on. It is a product photography job, and here is one of the before and after comparisons. There's the before shots. And here is the after. It is 11.20. I just did a quick workout. I hadn't worked out in like two weeks because of this job I got. I've spent all my spare time on the computer, so I'm just sick of it. I need to get back to working out, so. Did a quick little workout in my room, drank some green tea, and now it's past my ideal bedtime, so. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Maybe read a chapter or two in my new book. I did listen to, I think, 22 or 23 chapters in Museum Nightmares, which is really good. That's almost at the halfway point. And I decided that my next physical book is going to be All the Light We Cannot See. I really liked, what was it, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, and a lot of people who loved that book loved this one so i'm really excited to jump into it i've heard nothing but amazing things about it good night i will see you tomorrow so it's almost 8 45 which is the time i set my alarm for but i've been up since 7 45 i tried to go back to sleep but it didn't work i did do a little bit of reading last night in all the light we cannot see i think i made it to page 25 it's not like fantastic, but it's pretty good for a quick reading sprint before bed. I should do some computer before work. I don't want to. But I need to. I just want to go back to sleep. It is noon. I drank my green tea. Did about an hour of work on the computer, which is actually pretty productive. Ate breakfast. I just brushed my teeth and did all my eye cream and moisturizer and all that to get the process started. I don't have to start putting on makeup for another 45 minutes. So I'm going to get back in bed and work on all the light we cannot see. While I was working, I listened to more of Muse of Nightmares. And I am now like two chapters away from being at the halfway point. So I'm hoping that maybe at least before the end of the day can reach that point maybe get a little further and then maybe even finish tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be another spend all day on the computer kind of work day i'm gonna get to reading i will probably check in with you before i leave i am headed out the door to work but i wanted to show you that it is raining it's so beautiful <sighs> i wish i could stay and enjoy it but i can't Hopefully it's still raining when I get home. It's actually supposed to rain for the next few days, so A-OK -okay in my book. Gotta go. Bye! It is cold and rainy, and I'm home from work, so you know what that means. <laughs> It is midnight and an hour past my ideal bedtime. I wanted to give you an update on how my reading day went. I ended up reading 167 pages of All the Light We Cannot See, and then I listened to 13 chapters of Muse of Nightmares. Not a fantastic reading day, but pretty good considering I had to work in the afternoon. I think Getting up early helped a lot. And then tomorrow, February 14th, is the last day of week two, which will be the end of this vlog. Tomorrow's also Valentine's Day, my least favorite day of the year. But uh, yeah, we're going to get through it. I woke up and it's still pouring rain, which is fantastic. I want to show you what it looks like in the backyard because it's beautiful. <laughs>
almost 9 20. i'm feeling very frustrated right now with what i'm working on i don't know there's just problems that i've been trying to fix for days and weeks there's just not any better and right now i feel like all the pictures look horrible and i'm stressed and i'm so close to crying and then on top of all that i just got news about a family friend that i have known since i was a little girl she passed away is past midnight. I finally had to give up on the editing for the day because I really need to go to bed. Yesterday was not great. That's why I don't like Valentine's Day. It never ends up being a good day for me. I woke up super motivated thinking, you know what? I'm gonna get all this done. And I finished zero photos, which is so frustrating. I have no reading updates because I didn't read anything. I didn't pick up my physical book. I did listen to my audiobook but I still have like two hours left. So, I mean, technically I did read something. I listened to a couple hours of an audio, but I didn't finish it like I wanted to. I probably could have, but I just needed some motivational music. I just couldn't concentrate on the book. I know this is a really crap ending to this week two vlog. Hopefully at the start of week three, we'll be happier. I feel like I should do something to cheer up before bed. That's not how I'm programmed. <laughs> I'm sorry, we only pick MasterCard or Diners Club. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Here we go.